Hãy nó pha phút Playing against a lot of Xbox people. Okay, it's a slow lineup. Good. He shot a moving shot. Balls up. Not paying attention to the game. He sin, he giving you the shot. Alright. Well, no rebound. Jump. Good. That's good. That's, that's my fault. Here it comes. <laughs> I don't go what with that. losing wow man hey uh, nah. Getting lost. Uh, get in there. Good. Good D. Good teamwork. Good. Good. Good jump. Good box out. Destroy it. Perfect. Over. Good, good. Perfect. Wrap me, Thunder. Ah, uh, heartbreaking. Good. Don't know if I'm hit you for the shot. Big. Big shot. 
I lost. I got center. Damn, I ain't box out. That's bad. <laughs> wow. Damn, I missed that. That hurt. Ooh, thank you, man. That's green. I got, I got him. Damn, I can't even talk. That's <laughs> Oh. Thunder, wing, right wing. Good pass. Good teamwork. That's a bad shot. Good. Good steal. Perfect. Good shot. Good pass. Good shot. Good teamwork. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good ball movement. Let's go. Fun game when it worked. Fun game when it worked. That's all it is, man. Yeah, but yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, and we need to get both situated. It's a comp game. Snub, you guys. All right. On the cut, he's gonna give you the shot next possession, buddy. Watch the pass off. Free shot. Score it. Get out of there. Good bucket.
Good shot, good shot. Good, good possession. Ball under. Good teamwork. Great teamwork. Good shot. Good. Get back. Good. One more. Good teamwork. Great rebound. Great shot. He's gonna pass it right back. That's all. Mm, good. Good okay, rebound. Yeah, it's patient. Good D. Wow. Teamwork. Take it. Ah, fuck. Be out here, man. Get ready to shoot, Thunder. That's a good shot. Good shot. Get in there. They went for a two. Shot. So you back back? Yes, ma'am. Back back. Hike Mike. Oh, so you back, huh? That's deep. Oh, 
Oh, so you back, huh? How you love that? Oh, so you back, huh? That's fire. Only PG I watch. Stop playing. Don't be gassing me up like that. <laughs> you ain't gotta gas me up like that. They be trying to gas you, man. How about you like that team working defense? Oh, you back, huh? That's what they like guys disappearing for six months to work on yourself, to work on your wealth can be a powerful strategy. Going monk mode can be huge. Now, what is monk mode? When I say monk mode, I'm saying taking out a period of time, six months, to simply focus on a specific task or a specific goal by removing all of the distractions and just basically simplifying your life. Meaning you do things like introspection, meditation, prayer, isolation, so that you can formulate a plan and develop new habits, exercise. It could be abstaining from social media, drugs, alcohol, whatever, right? It's setting aside a period of time where you're sort of by yourself to handle and manage yourself. Look, the biggest part of building wealth, making money, being successful, building relationships is about self-control and self-discipline. And part of going monk mode is to build that piece of yourself up, that innermost piece of you, build that thing up. So get away, go away, work hard in silence and build yourself up, build your habits, build your work ethic, build your discipline. Close down social media if you have to. Leave some friends if you have to. Get yourself in new environments so that you can change, make some differences. So I wanna make this video because I see so many people trying to do it in the limelight, trying to do it with a camera or a cell phone in their hand so they can record it for everybody to see. Taking selfies, right? And sitting on the beach and taking selfies and still reporting back to the rest of the world how you're living large or how you're doing something different or how you're having me time. I'm not mad at you if you do that, but I'm telling you there's another way. You can just disappear for six months and go monk mode. You don't have to have a camera in your hand to be building. Now, if you have a brand and you're, you have a business, I totally get it. But if you don't, what are you doing when the camera's off? What are you doing when there's no pictures to take? There's no selfies to take. There's nobody to report back to about how well you're doing this and how well you're doing that. Listen, go monk mode. What really matters is what you're doing when the camera's off at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night when nobody's looking. What really matters is how do you spend the first part of your morning when you're not on social media, right? When you're not uploading anything to IG or LinkedIn or Facebook or X, wherever you are. Look, if you decide to disappear and go monk mode, you're going to have the opportunity to take some time out to concentrate on your specific goals. Like maybe it's saving more aggressively, developing a different skill, or starting a specific side hustle that you haven't been able to start because you just haven't had the time because you're being pulled in all types of different directions. But you can do all those things with no distractions if you disappear for six months. Look, part of it could be simply saying, you know what, I'm gonna dedicate six months to saving as much money as possible. Or I'm gonna dedicate six months to building up an income stream that's a non-traditional income stream, maybe a side hustle, side gig. Or I'm gonna spend six months building my business and focusing on my business and jumping in my business with both feet. Or I'm gonna spend six months building up some of the strongest habits that I can build up and I'm gonna come back stronger than ever. It's all about boosting your, your inner self and your discipline. And ultimately, that's what's gonna help you boost yourself in life with your money and wealth building and more. Not to mention, maybe give you a feeling of peace. See, a lot of times we don't have a feeling of peace because we're always on social media. We're always feeling like we're on in front of the camera, in front of people, being looked at, being watched, being studied. 
And sometimes it's good to say, you know what, let's shut it down. Don't look at me. I'm gone. I'm in monk mode. I disappeared for six months and I worked on myself. And this period of being gone or disappearing for six months, it can help you build confidence and give you some momentum moving forward because you're laying a foundation for the types of things that you need to be better in life, to be more successful in life. Guys, if you're getting value from this video, share this video with other people. Also, please drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Now, let's get back to the video. Let me give you some examples of things that you can do in six months to build wealth or in six months to actually go monk mode. What are you going to be doing when you go monk mode? Look, setting clear financial goals about your savings, about paying off debt, about investing, tracking your progress on a monthly basis with a, a budget, also having a net worth statement. These are things that you can hone in on during the time when you disappear that'll make you come back stronger, especially with your money. Now, when you do goals, your goals have to be specific, right? If we're talking about money, we're talking about you have to have specific goals that name time and name money amount. And then for every single goal, you have to have some action steps under those goals that are helping you reach those goals. Those action steps are things that you're going to be doing on a regular basis, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever it could be. But these are action steps that are going to help you reach each one of those goals that you could set and work to obtain during your disappearance when you're in monk mode. Also, during this six months when you disappear, you could work on minimizing your expenses, like really minimizing your expenses, cutting out the non-essentials, right? Negotiating your bills or any late bills that you have, right? Medical bills or credit card bills, whatever it could be. Cleaning up your credit, paying off bad debt, being frugal, learning how to spend less and practicing spending less. Make it a goal, specific goal of spending less. Maybe you don't shop. You don't have any Amazon coming to your door and dropping off packages. You do no shopping online. Be a maniac about tracking your expenses when you're in monk mode. Spend this six months of disappearing, getting to know you and your spending habits. And maybe, as I said before, increase your income streams during this time. Pick a side hustle that you've always wanted to do. Pick a side hustle that is a part of what your purpose and your assignment and your gifts and talents are all about. Or maybe you get a new hobby. Maybe you explore something different and new by getting a new skill. Maybe you go to a school and get a certification in a specific area. But one way or the other, you're bettering yourself during this monk mode time of being gone for six months and doing things that could ultimately lead to more income or more income streams. You could say, hey, during this six months of being gone and disappearing from off the planet from everybody else, maybe I can spend that time understanding and learning how to invest, right? Reading as much as you can about investing, about real estate, about whatever you want to learn that's going to help you grow your money. But the biggest and most important thing that you can do during this time of being gone and disappearing and being in monk mode is avoid distractions, whether it's relationships to avoid, habits that you want to change and avoid, social media that you want to avoid, whatever it could be. Get the distractions out of your life, right? Limit associating yourself with negative, with negative people or even associating yourself with people at all if you want to. The point is to limit your interaction with things that are not edifying to you, things that aren't building you up during this time of being gone. Or maybe you simply want to build a more quality network of people around you. You know, you choose your friends, just because you're 35 or 40 or 50 years old doesn't mean that you can't gain new friends in a new area of interest that you may have and develop while you're in monk mode. Because, hey, sometimes you have to leave certain people in order to grow in a direction that you're trying to go. Look, you're only in the rat race because you believe that there's no other options for you. You believe that you have no choice. But I'm here to tell you on this video, you have a choice. Disappear for six months. Come back stronger. Go monk mode. Build wealth. Build yourself out of the limelight. Away from in front of the camera. Away from the stage. Stay low key for six months and focus on removing the distractions and understanding and learning yourself. Guys, do me a favor. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Until the next video, peace.
That's it. That's it. Once again, that's a rep issue. <laughs>